All right, welcome back, Intro to Engineering. This is Activity 5.3, Determining Density. And you are going to do most of this assignment through Canvas, at least learning it, and then part of the assignment through my PLCW. So let's go over that first so that no one is doing extra work that they don't need to be doing. Um, so from the home, once you go home, you go to Course Content, you go to Unit 5, 5.3, and this is going to bring you here. Um, you'll click on this link to get to your MyPLTW, and that will bring you to Unit 5.3. This will bring your page here, okay? You are not going to do this whole activity, okay? You are only going to do this part here. Excuse me. Mass, weight, and density under 1. So you'll click on that, and this is the only part of the activity that we're going to do. Um, so before we get into that though, okay, I am going to go over the PowerPoint uh, that's underneath Canvas. So if you go to Presentations, and underneath Presentations you have Determining Density, here's a PowerPoint on this stuff here. Okay, I'll go over the PowerPoint, I'll release you to do the assignment. Um, just take down your notes, All right, um, example calculations, we'll just be giving an example. It's going to ask you this, check your work. So don't just click on check your work, actually write down the question, do it, and then see if you're right, okay? This is a great opportunity to see if you know what you're doing or not. Um, the formulas for our spheres, triangles, our squares, uh, cubes, and cylinders, and then another area that you can check your work, and then there is a short quiz here at the bottom, like three questions long, okay? Um, and you'll be able to do that. Um, the quiz is not for grades, just to check for understanding, it's understanding for you. All right. Uh, let's see here. Determining density, PowerPoint, from the beginning. Okay, so here we are, determining density. To start, what is density? And that is, it is a measure of the amount of matter per unit of volume. Okay. So, for example, if I have my root beer can here, all right, currently this is empty. It is less dense than if I had another root beer can, okay, that was full. This would be more dense, okay? The same area is taken up, but um, one has a high density, one has a low density. Objects with uh, that are more dense will sink in water. Objects that are less dense will float in water. Um, why boats float and cars don't. Um, so matter, you have the difference between mass versus weight, okay? So mass is the amount of matter in an object, okay? Um, so it's a quantity of the inertia of the object, but weight is the force of gravity on that mass. So weight is not mass, mass is not weight. Um, both affect each other though. So your formula ends up being weight equals mass times gravity. Um, so for example, your weight... Um, is going to change depending where you are. Your mass will not change depending where you are. Um, I don't know what my personal mass is, but I'm going to weigh more on Earth than I would on the moon because gravity is different, not my mass. All right, so let's go over that. Mass and weight are often confused. We've talked about that. So weight equals mass times gravity. So a man has a mass of 100 kilograms, on Earth, that person would weigh 980 newtons. Okay, that would be their weight. Their mass is 100 kilograms. All right, um, a woman weighs 100 pounds, so mass equals weight divided by gravity. We just move the formula around. So to get uh, mass by itself, we divided both sides by gravity. Okay, um, so to figure out what her mass was in the U.S. customary units, which we use slugs and U.S. customary, it'd be 100 divided by 32.2 feet per uh, second squared. And 32.2 feet is the uh, measurement for gravity in U.S. units, okay? Whereas in metric, it would be 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, so something to keep in mind, don't mix those up. Make sure when you're doing metric, you're doing metric. And when you're doing customary, uh, standard US, make sure you're doing that, okay? So here's all our conversions. These formulas are once again in your formula sheet from my 
my PLTW accessible to you during the tests, as well as for homework. Um, so all these uh, ratios are there. So one kilogram is the same as 2.205 pounds. A mass, one slug is 32.2, one ton is 2,000, one pound is 16 ounces. All right, those are all there for you. Um, and then one pound is equivalent to 0.45359237 kilograms. Okay, one kilogram is 2.205 pounds. Um, so that's pound mass. Okay, that's a unit of, of, of uh, mass. So notice how here is not the same. That's one kilogram, not one kilogram. One uh, pound mass, 2.205 pound mass, okay? Um, so just make sure you're using the right stuff. Uh, to calculate pound force, that is a unit of force and the gravitational force exerted on a mass of one pound, okay, on the surface of Earth. So in this case, um, one pound uh, on the surface of Earth comes out to 4.482162 newtons. So in this case, one newton is equal to 0.225 newtons, okay? Or one newton is equal to 0.225 pounds, okay? And then one kip is 1,000 pounds. All right, so just weird measurements through the U.S. customary. Um, so how are pound mass and pound force related? So here's where it comes down to. On Earth, gravity is 32.174 feet per second squared, okay? In outer space, there's no gravity, so one pound mass would have no weight. Okay, on the moon, gravity is then 5.32 5 feet per second squared. Um, so it comes out, uh, the object weighs 0. 0.166 pounds force if it's one pound on Earth. Okay, so it just varies. Um, your weight determines on the gravity, not your mass, because your mass doesn't change. Um, here are density formulas to calculate uh, different uh, densities. So you have mass equals volume times density mass. You have weight equals mass times gravity and weight equals volume times density weight. All right, so those are different. And here's the key to explain those. So we can calculate density through a different uh, ways. Uh, mass density is the mass per unit volume. So how much a unit or how much mass is there per volume? And then same thing, weight density is the weight per unit volume. So mass equals uh, volume times density mass. You can move that formula around. So if we need to get density mass by itself, we divide both sides by volume. And now you have mass divided by volume equals density mass. And same thing with weight. So those formulas, once, around, once again, can move around to solve what you are missing. Uh, mass density commonly used for SI units. Okay. Uh, that's mass density, all right? So that'd be grams per centimeter cubed or kilograms per meter cubed, all right? Whereas weight density is used commonly in the U.S. and that'd be pound per inch cubed or pound per feet cubed, okay? Um, so you have difference uh, here. So like mass density of apples, uh, the typical apple is has a mass of 0.64 grams per centimeter cubed, whereas the weight density is 0 0.023 pounds per inch cubed. All right, so you got different things here. Um, balance is used to measure mass, so we can use objects of known mass to find the unknown mass of an object. Um, you've likely seen these in chemistry or physics or another science class um, that you've had, uh, allowing us to measure uh, the effect of gravity based on mass. Um, scales, all right, scales are used to measure weight. Okay, and they measure force caused by gravity. So uh, that will allow us to know what the the weight is, not the mass. Okay, uh, volume is the amount of three dimensional space enclosed by an object. So there's two different methods to determine volume. Um, so for example, we can calculate using the geometry of the ob object. So uh, if this is a 3D object, how much space does it take up? That would be volume. Um, and then you can also use water displacement or 3D scanners. Um, so if you want to know how much volume that rock took up, fill up this um, graduated cylinder to a certain measurement, put the rock in, and then however much the water level rises would be how much volume the rock uh, has.
So some object volumes can be calculated though, uh, and so using spheres, uh, cubes, rectangles. Uh, to find the volume of a sphere, all right, it is right here. This is 4 divided by 3, multiplied by pi, multiplied by r cubed. Uh, to find the surface area of a sphere, it would be 4 pi r squared. All right. So make sure you're using the right formula. Once again, all these formulas are on your formula sheet. Uh, rectangular prism, uh, width times depth times height, height width depth, okay? To find the surface area, it is two times these added together, all right? Uh, width times depth is going to give you the area of that surface. Since this is a rectangle, the backside of this is going to be the same as this. So, um, same thing with this surface, this, these, uh, uh, the surface opposite of it is going to be the same in surface area. And here, it's going to be opposite as well. And then you add them together, and you can get that. Uh, the volume of an irregular object can be determined through fluid displacement. So we talked about that. Here would be some examples of like Ottawa blocks people. Uh, the level would elevate. Uh, when reading on a graduated cylinder, all right, you're going to have a meniscus at the top of the water. All right? It's not going to be perfectly flat. And it won't be exaggerated like this. There will be some difference. You'll be able to tell. But if you're doing it, you read from the bottom of the meniscus shape. Okay, not the top. Okay. Um, and the volume change would end up being there. Uh, so let's do a quick example here. What is the density of a 2.24 inch? <clears throat> excuse me. A 2.24 inch diameter sphere of titanium that weighs 0.82 pounds. So here is how that works. First, we need to find the volume of the sphere, right? Um, so the density of a 2.24 inch uh, diameter sphere. So to find the volume, it's volume equals 4 divided by 3 multiplied by pi times r cubed. So 4 divided by 3 times pi r cubed is 2.24. We told you the radius. Okay. And then you have that. Uh, sorry. Uh, the radius is not 2.24. That would be the diameter. So to get the radius, you need half of that. So the radius is 1.12. So 1.12 cubed times pi times 4 divided by 3. And you get a volume of 5.88 inches cubed. All right. Um, so now we have the volume. The question though is what is the density? All right, so our formula is weight equals volume times density. So we have volume, and we now know that the sphere of titanium weighs 0.82 pounds. So we move our formula around like that. Um, so to give you an example, right, um, weight equals volume times density weight. All right, we need to get weight or density weight by itself. Um, so we can divide both sides by volume. Volume cancels out on this side. And now we have weight divided by volume equals weight divided by volume equals density weight. So we have 0.82 pounds divided by the volume, which was 5.88 inches cubed, all right, and then whatever that equals. So, um, 0.82 divided by 5.8, and you get a density weight of 0.14 pounds per inch cubed, okay? So what volume of water would it place? displace and this is how we could figure that using your uh, your formula sheets we know that one foot cubed is equivalent to 1720 1728 inches cubed and one liter is equivalent to 0 0.0353 feet cubed right um, using those these inches cubed cancel out those feet feet cubed cancel out 5.88 divided by 
1,128 divided by 0 0.0353, and you get 0 0.096 liters. All right. Um, so that's how that works there. Okay. Once again, those formula sheets are uh, available. Um, you are only doing mass, weight, and density. So from there, read through this here. It goes over a little more, breaks down some things, gives some more examples um, on understanding pounds, example calculations as well. We give you some problems. Do the problem first, okay? Don't just click check your work, okay? Uh, do the problem and then check your work. Use this as an opportunity to learn and make sure you're doing it right. That way, when it comes to test time, you're doing it right and not just trying to, to muddle through it. Um, same through the rest of the project as well as questions one through three of this review questions. Once you're done with that, that is it for 5.3 um, density. So do, do not go back, um, don't go back and do the rest of 5.3, all right? As soon as you're done with mass, weight, and density, that's it. You're not doing any more of this, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, talk to your classmates, talk to the sub, uh, email me if possible. Once again, I will get back to you, though I can't promise that I'll have uh, availability to that. Um, but if I am available to answer questions, I will. Uh, and with that, have a good day.